In this video, we are going to be talking about how your body's T cells are able to combat the coronavirus to beat COVID-19. And so what happens after your coronavirus infects one of your cells, specifically, these are going to be epithelial cells lining your respiratory system because the coronavirus is a respiratory disease, is that these cells will now have the genetic payload specifically the RNA from the coronavirus inside of them. And then once the RNA from the coronavirus is inside of these host cells, it's going to hijack the host cells machinery, namely its ribosomes, in order to start replicating the virus to make a bunch of viral progeny that can go on and infect even more host cells. And so while this process is very bad for that host cell, fortunately, every cell in your body, every nucleated cell in your body has something called the MHC on it. It's the major histocompatibility complex, specifically the class one. And so what this thing basically is at a high level is a window into the outside world so that your immune cells patrolling your body can see what is going on inside of a cell. And so if we were to consider this cell as being infected by the coronavirus, what happens is that on the MHC class one, it's this protein on the outside of the cell, the cell's basically telling everything out there, what am I doing inside of me? And so if the infected cell is making a bunch of coronavirus progeny, what it's going to be doing is on its MHC class 1 complexes, it's going to be displaying parts of the coronavirus on its surface like this. And so what happens is that a patrolling T cell is going to come by and some T cells are going to recognize that whatever this thing is that's being displayed on the MHC1 complex of the infected cell is not a good guy protein. And so what they're going to do is they're going to bind onto this and some T cells called T helper cells are going to recognize that this is a bad guy. They're going to run away and go to a lymph node or somewhere else in your body to start encouraging B cells to start making antibodies to stick onto this bad guy so that when this infected host cell makes a bunch of progeny and you've got now a lot more coronaviruses roaming around you, you will have B cells that are pumping out antibodies that are going to be specific for proteins on the coronavirus so that you will be able to successfully identify and block new infections. And so those are called your T helper cells. Those T helper cells are involved in basically helping scale up other immune cells in this immune response. And then in addition to that, we have another type of immune or T cell referred to as the cytotoxic T cell. And these T cells are sometimes called the killer T cells and they have CD8 receptors on their surfaces. And so basically what happens is if a cytotoxic T cell, a CD8 positive cell, comes around and recognizes that one of your host cells has been infected by the coronavirus because it's going to see that it's got this really weird protein on its surface that isn't a normal protein it typically sees, this CD8 cell, this T killer cell, is going to bind onto this protein and it's going to do things that will tell the infected host cell, stop what you're doing, you're infected and you need to basically kill yourself, commit apoptosis and apoptosis is basically cell suicide where the cell is going to go through a bunch of events to basically shut everything down and stop it from making any more coronavirus progeny so we can help mitigate and stop this disease before it goes too far. And so the way it does this is once it's bound onto this infected cell, this T killer cell does form these kinds of bridges, they're called aminosynapses, onto the infected cell and there's things called perforins and what this does is it causes perforations or little holes into the membrane of the infected host cell and so once this infected host cell has these holes in its surface it's also able to take in these things called granzymes which is another type of biomolecule that basically tells this infected host cell look buddy you really got to stop what you're doing here because you're making a bunch of bad guys and we really don't want that to happen and so the role of the T-cell in your body, just to recap, is to number one, when it recognizes that one of your host cells has been infected by the coronavirus, is go alert other immune cells and tell them, basically, let's start making some antibodies that can stick onto the coronavirus because we're going to expect to see even more coronaviruses pretty soon in our bloodstream and we want to stop them from infecting any more cells. And then in addition to that, your T-killer cells, your CD8-positive cells, are going to have the job of 
finding you know which of your cells are these virus making factories and basically telling them to go stop what they're doing and help your body beat this disease as quickly and safely as possible and so thank you guys for watching let me know if you have any questions please stay safe and wash your hands and i'll talk to you next time